Hey, this is Stuart Smith from Stewardism Designs. We are going to start throwing down on this here canvas. We've got to do five of them for Bobby out of uh, Connecticut. And we're doing skulls, all in the UV 3D process. So, hey, let's get to paint. A little uh, FYI this is non flame retardant canvas, it has not been treated. We are going to be using FR1 flame retardant as a paint additive and in all the paints that will be going on here we're going to uh, infuse all the paint with the FR1. We are also not going to place any primer onto the canvas. Normally if I have a black canvas I'll put white down so I get my hard images and of course be able to ghost out with black. This right here, because of its color, I don't have to do that. And I'm gonna be able to come along and place all my UVs directly onto the canvas, and then uh, be able to detail from there, and it will still keep the canvas nice and nimble uh, so it can be folded and shipped to the proper location. Um, and then once unfolded, uh, the fold should drop out, uh, especially if it's in a high humidity area. Uh, to it uh, should be just fine. We are doing this in a uh, horizontal fashion rather than vertical. Uh, Bobby ordered five canvases and we want to give him as much bang for his buck as possible so we are going to be doing it crossways so when the customer comes through and Bobby places them up they're gonna have a lot more to look at than up and down uh, normally customers are be looking at eye level and if you have some eight feet high and it goes down they're gonna be missing out on stuff so this way he's gonna be able to cover over uh, two canvases this is a four by eight but it's actually a four feet by nine some odd inches uh, that way my wife didn't have to cut the other end uh, the canvas actually came nine and a half feet or so and so she just did a, 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 a sewing grommet and so he's getting a little bit more for his buck and his customers will see a lot more um, in his process. So we're painting a bunch of skulls. So I got five canvases going whacked up with skulls. Um, number FR1, infusing the paint and let's get started. All right, the colors are on. We used our automotive spray gun place them on. Greens and blues, reds, yellows, yellow faded into red to give us some orange. So obviously we're going to have a one, two, three, four, five, six skulls plus some other skulls into the blue and green range and uh, some piping memory tissue. It's going to be beautiful. This tool right here is fantastic when you're doing canvas. You're placing a wet surface onto this. This is 100% cotton. Each and every time you place a color down, just going to take it down and that keeps those little frillies from popping up. The more you can keep the, these little hairs or frillies that come up off the canvas, the brighter the canvas will be. The more that are exposed, you're going to be creating thousands of little shadows uh, that the black light will be fighting against the paint. So that's what we're gonna wanna do each and every time. So I come along and I'll put a yellow down, I'll put a blue down, and I'll let it set for a second, and then I'm gonna just clean it up. Also, it helps to get rid of some of the wrinkles and stuff from the other canvas just from the get-go. She's gonna stretch a little bit um, from grom to grom. It you might get a little uh, bend there on the edges. No big deal because we're going to black out the edges so once it goes into the 3D maze it's going to sit there and just blend right into the wall. So that's the goal anyways, uh, to put up properly. And I know Bobby, my man, he'll put it up properly so I'm just going to rub that down. Um, then we're going to let it dry and then it's going to be ready for hot detail action. We're going to get to that in a moment. Ooh, uh
okay people this is the final product we had it set for a while with the uh, black Rustolia to make sure that was dry and then we've come along and done our highlights and a blue that has been touched up just slightly with yellow and then some yellow for the red areas we want a lot of do a lot of highlights in the blue but we can add in some blue in some areas with the 3d glasses that will just recede that the highlights will also bring these forward um, and it makes it look really sharp versus just doing the black with UV and color and even highlights really spark things forward it also creates contrast in the red areas so you're not just looking at a staunch red even though we had some reds and oranges that will sit there and just spark these pieces forward so this is Bobby's first piece four more to go really appreciate your time really appreciate you guys watching uh, try this at home uh, I know sometimes doing a four by nine like this might scare the crap out of you uh, we usually do a lot larger pieces, uh, we've gotten used to it over a while. You know, so try something small, work your way up. Uh, there'll be a resource guide in the bottom of this video, on uh, the back side of it. Um, tell you what type of uh, spray guns we use, uh, locations to get supplies, uh, where you get the FR1 flame retardant. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.